Now, after you've taken a bunch of photos, you've imported them into Lightroom, you've organized everything and it's time to edit, you probably have dozens, hundreds, or maybe even thousands of photos that you have to add and edit onto. But the problem is you don't wanna waste all of your time going through each individual photo and going through all of the settings over and over and over again. Well, luckily that's where batch editing comes into play. And with this technique, you can apply a similar edit across a bunch of different photos in a single click, saving you a ton of time. I'm gonna show you two different ways to do it in this video. Now in this photo here, I have an edit that I applied onto my image already. As you can see in the before and after here, we have just a basic edit. We've done some color exposure adjustments, everything that you see right here. Now, along with this particular photo, as you can see in my film strip, I have a series of other images that have very similar exposure and color values as the photo I just edited. So this means it's a prime candidate for using this batch editing technique because this edit will look pretty much the same across all of these other photos since the starting point is already very similar. Now, the first option for batch editing is called sync. And to do this, you just have to first select all of your images that you want to add the same edit onto. So starting with the image that you have edited, in this case, this one here, I'm gonna hold shift and just click to the final image that I want to edit like so. And that's gonna highlight all of those photos sequentially for me just by holding the shift key. Now, if you don't want to select a sequence of photos sequentially like that, you can hold command or control and then you can just select photos individually. Once you have your images selected that you want to sync your original edit onto, simply press the sync button within the develop module. You have to be in this develop module, otherwise you won't see this option. So clicking on sync, then we're gonna go and click on check all. This is just gonna make sure that everything is selected for us, but then now we have to go and uncheck a few different things. Those things being spot removal, cropping, local adjustments, and transform adjustments. The reason that we unchecked these different things is because those are specific to every image. For example, cropping, one photo might have a slanted horizon, so therefore you go and correct it, but then your next photo might have a perfectly straight horizon, but since you're copying and pasting the crop adjustment from the previous photo, that straight horizon is suddenly gonna become crooked and just mess everything up. So you wanna uncheck all of these options here that are specific to each individual photo. So if you do have to do any spot adjustments, spot removal, or cropping, you're gonna have to do that individually Individually, the sync method doesn't really help you with that. Anyways, once all of this is done, we're gonna click on synchronize. Lightroom will work its magic here and look at all of our images get magically edited. We didn't even have to do a single thing. How convenient is that? Now we can go and click on my other photos here. And as you can see, they have a similar edit to my original image basically because we've taken the exact same settings from the starting photo and we've just applied them to all of our other versions here. Now, the beauty of this is that every photo might need something a little bit different, but since you've gone and pasted the bulk of the settings already, it's not gonna take a lot of time to refine anything. So for example, this image kind of feels a little bit dark. I'd like to brighten it up a little. Since all of my adjustments are already made, I can quickly do that. I can just increase my exposure slider just a little bit, maybe bring up the highlights a touch, bring up the shadows a touch, increase the contrast a little bit. And now I have refined my edit to this particular photo only by adjusting a couple of sliders. I didn't have to go through the whole process once again because I only needed to adjust a very specific thing. Now really quickly, if you're finding these batch editing tips helpful, make sure to hit that like button down below as it really makes a huge difference to make more people see this video and support my channel. Thank you so much in advance. Let's get back into it. So now that you understand how to sync photos in Lightroom, let's go through the second method, which is copying and pasting your settings between different images. This way they don't have to be in a sequence and you can actually copy and paste settings from one image folder into another if that's what you're wanting to do. To give you an example here, I'm just going to once again start with this original photo and this time I'm going to go and click on copy. So after all of my adjustments have been made here, I'm happy with my edit, I'm going to copy all of these settings over to another image. So just making sure that the one image that you want to copy from is selected, simply press copy and then once again you're going to have the exact same options as we saw with the sync. We're gonna once again, uncheck the exact same things as before. So local adjustments, transform, crop, and spot removal. Leave everything else checked off. Then we'll go and click copy. This time, nothing happens to our other photos because we've only copied the settings. We haven't applied them onto anything else yet. However, if we go over to another image in our film strip, let's go scroll over to this one, for example. As you can see, it's not edited at all, but with it selected, I can just go and press paste 
And now it's gonna apply those copied settings from before onto my image and apply that edit really easily for me. From there, I can just go and refine it as needed. I can lift the shadows, adjust the highlights, increase the contrast, maybe increase the dehaze slider a little bit, increase the vibrance, that type of thing. And then now suddenly I have quickly edited this other photo totally separate from my other images. Now this can also work, like I said before, between different image folders. So if for example, you have a bunch of sunset photos from one day and then the next day you have a bunch of other sunset images, you can actually copy the settings from the first day and put them over into the second day just by using this copy and paste method. You don't have to use any presets and things like that. So with these two batch editing techniques, it's really easy to edit a bunch of photos really quickly in Lightroom and save yourself a ton of time. Rather than having to make presets for every single edit that you wanna create, you can just copy and paste your settings specifically as you create them, making it just a little bit more versatile than using a basic preset for all of your images. Now, if these techniques speed up your editing process in Lightroom, then make sure to hit that like button down below as it really makes a huge difference that more people see this video and really supports my channel. I thank you so much in advance. If you love Lightroom photo editing and all of that good stuff, hit that subscribe button down below so we can hang out, talk more about these cool things together and just geek out over photo editing. Anyways, my name is Brendan from BeWellCreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.